2020 was going to be our best year ever. The books were full of great concerts and adventure tours, and um, we were excited. We had this momentum going that was absolutely something that we had dreamed about for 20 years, and for the last 10 years of Moors and McCumber, we had gotten there. All of our shows were sold out leading up to March 12th. And finally, we were hitting our stride as a duo, we felt. We had, you know, seven records already. We were working on the eighth one, and then done. Pandemic, March 13th, I took James to the airport. I flew home, and we thought we were gonna take a couple weeks off, and obviously it became much longer than that. This was the longest I've been home in 20 years, which on one hand was really nice. It's nice to have time to read, sit and drink coffee and not be ready to pack a bag and go. Got to spend a lot of time with my kids. It was great. Every day waking up is like, can we cope? Let's make that be the number one thing. Let's get through the day and let's check in with each other to make sure mentally we're healthy, physically, and the one thing that I really wanted to do as an instrumentalist was I wanted to come out of the time, even though it was going to be tough to focus, I wanted to make sure that I practiced every single day and picked up my fiddle, picked up the guitar, picked up the bass, and practiced and just put all my energy into that because that's the one thing I could control. Well, when we realized we weren't coming back on the road anytime soon, we started a Patreon page, which was something that we had talked about for a long time. We have some really fantastic fans and we wanted to find a way to stay connected to them and Patreon gave us the opportunity to do a live concert every week and keep things moving and continue to look to the future. James and I were side by side on the screen so we would just trade songs back and forth like two singer songwriters, which we are, but the biggest thing that James and I do our strength is when we play together, we sing together, switching instruments and then the harmonies. So that. You know, the pandemic and being in two separate places really made that hard, but the thing that was great about Patreon was it was fan-based, so our fans knew what we do together, and it was actually, I think, something neat for them to see us, for the first time ever, play songs separately. Towards the middle of the summer, I realized I had a lot of songs that were ready for a home, and Court and I started talking about getting together and reimagining some of these uh, arrangements and trying to build something new, something different than we've done in the past. Once we did finally meet up in June, it was what took us a month uh, going back and forth online was literally about five minutes. James came in the studio right in this door. I was sitting on the keyboard. He's like, hey, play me that idea that you had. So I played it for him. He's like, what do you think about this? He immediately grabbed the notebook. He walked right out there, started writing down lyrics. He came back in. He's like, now sing this. And it was just one of those things where being together is our magic for sure. What we love to do now when you try to find your way. We each have home studios and what we did was in between our visits we would work out the compositions, work out our parts and we started working with our producer Patrick Conway who was adding um, tracks and beats and things like that and giving us some more information to work off of. James, Patrick and I were trading back ideas and we had so much stuff to a click track already recorded that once we got to the studio it was just now we just had to sing and do what is the most natural to us. We did stay in touch with our fans, especially those on Patreon. We kept them um, posted on the happenings and goings on, and, and we did live concerts from these places where we were arranging the songs. It turned into something that was a massive community, and now we call it, and we even have a link on our website called Community, because what we realized we've been doing before the pandemic was create community. I find it interesting that songs I had been writing before the pandemic and the songs that were coming out of us during the pandemic all spoke to this essence of a person struggling through a situation that's beyond their control, whether that's a relationship or a pandemic or just life. 
and it was really touching for us as we were writing and composing these songs. Um, it just was reflecting on all of that and it was really emotional for us to be in that time and space together making those things happen. Oh, oh, oh. Reaching out with a helping hand Taking time to make a stand oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Playing live music is magic. It's pure magic. You can't get that anywhere else. Human beings, whether they're musicians or just listeners, I think they're hungry to get back out there and see live music. And that's the one thing that I feel is could uh, sustain itself is people not taking that for granted. I definitely don't want to. And that's the one thing that James and I'll do moving forward is, you know, just being that grateful for every single time we get to play in front of people and share our songs. We are so excited to get back to what we were doing. We love what we do. We're really inspired by all the travel we get to do and the people we get to meet. And we're just thrilled to get back out there. Can't wait. Happy to be with you guys tonight. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Survival.